Hi, my name is Andrew Hunt, and I'm the writer and director of Clean Cut. Now, this little short film I kind of hold really near and dear to my heart because it was the project that taught me how to write a movie without any dialogue. Well, actually, there's a few lines in here. I think there's like three or four lines. When you have that kind of challenge and know that you're making a film that is damn near silent, it really allows you to focus more on the visuals. It also allows you to treat sound design differently than a normal film. Because every little sound effect is, in essence, kind of the dialogue of the movie. I've always been a big fan of Scott Jorgensen, the actor here, and uh, it was just a lot of fun to play with him. I was really kind of happy because on the day that Scott showed up, I said, you know, it would really be awesome is if you kept the mask on the whole time. And Scott was game. Yeah. And there's these little things that he was doing, totally improv, which, like this, like when they both look back at one another, I just cracked me up when we actually filmed it. Yeah. Look. Hey. Yeah. No. 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 This is shit. The cinematographer on this was Ben Enke, and when we were shooting the whole film, because our entire movie is through the point of view of a iRobot, I had bought him one of these mechanics creepers so he could just lay on the floor and roll around. You know, since we were looking at the world through this little vacuum cleaner, we needed to be a foot or less off the ground. The sound designer, Mike Hallenbeck, actually thought I was joking at first when I told him that we were gonna just see the floor for about like 20 seconds and hear all these saw blades. And, and Mike kind of scoffed at me at first, went 20 seconds, there's no way you're gonna just have the floor be there for 20 seconds and I've gotta put tons of sound effects in there. And then we made the movie and we came back with a cut and Mike asked, so how long is the floor shot? It's less than 20 seconds, right? And I'm like, uh, well, not exactly, it's more like 43 seconds. Mike also did the music for Clean Cut, and it's just this little catchy little tune that I just really enjoy. This was actually a tricky shot because we had like, we were on the outsides of the frame just kind of navigating this stuff through because that little Roomba couldn't really drag all that stuff. And Darla Eden, who did the, uh, the makeup effects for this, she actually won on uh, Face Off one year that was on the Sci-Fi channel. Just an absolute, just great makeup artist. I love the audience's reaction to this shot, especially with the piano and everything, because you know you really know you have the audience when they're saying "aw" or uh, or or they're saying out loud, "What have I done?" Which is exactly kind of our intent when we did that little tiny sequence. There's another actor that I absolutely enjoy working with, Charles Hubble came in for about an hour and a half to shoot this and I just just absolutely just love the little things that he does. Piece of shit. And then at the last minute, you know, cuz the little Roomba doesn't turn red, I asked Jeremy Wanak our editor. I'm like, "Jeremy, can we make that red?" Because that would just be fantastic to show that maybe this is the beginning of the rise of the robots. And then a good friend of mine, Josh Stifter, did the animation here, which I just absolutely love. I love when it shakes and spits out a bunch of blood. This film really kind of taught me the importance of sound design uh, more than anything else and really allowed me to start to lean on that. And that definitely inspired the next four movies that I've made where it's focusing on the visuals and with just this great sound texture. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Be safe. <laughs>